Talk 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 One, written by Liz Correa editorial staff and Dwayne Voorhees. Part one: Answer these questions. Lesson one: What do these signs mean? Example: No horn. Answer: This sign warns people not to blow their horns. The symbol is usually displayed in a quiet area, such as a residential area or school zone. As traffic becomes heavy, impatient drivers tend to make noise with their horns, so people in the quiet areas want to prevent the horns from being blown. They say no one would need to blow a horn if everyone drove carefully and defensively. What do these signs mean? One. No U-turn. Two. Slippery road. Three. Falling rocks. Four. Road work ahead. Five. School zone. Six. Lost and found. Seven. Recyclable. Eight. Currency exchange. Nine. Hard hat area. Ten. Radioactive. Lesson two. What are they for? Example. Credit card. Answer. It is a small plastic card that people use when they buy goods or services without cash. It's a very convenient means of purchasing things people want without having to pay for them at once. However, problems arise if it is not used wisely because interest rates are very high. We all know credit cards encourage people to spend more money. So banks must be more careful issuing credit cards, and people should also be more responsible about their own spending. What are they for? One. Dice. Two. Crash helmet. Three. Compass. Four. Life jacket. Five. Stethoscope. Six. First aid kit. Seven. Cooler. Eight. Swiss Army knife. Nine. Treadmill. Ten, slot machine. Lesson three. What do you say? Read me. There are some frequently used expressions for certain situations. Every student should know them. Of course, there may be more than one expression for the same situation.
Example. When you tell someone something and you don't want him or her to reveal it to anyone else, what do you say? Answer. Don't repeat this to anyone. It's just between you and me. Answer these questions. 1. What do you say when you first meet someone? 2. What do you say when you agree with someone? 3. What do you say when you disagree with someone? 4. What do you say when you swear not to repeat what someone is telling you? 5. What do you say when you suggest that someone try a new food? 6. What do you say when you want to tell someone big news? 7. What do you say when you meet someone who has just returned from a long trip? 8. What do you say when you wonder if someone else understands your statements? 9. What do you say when you don't understand what someone has said, so you want it to be repeated? 10. What do you say when you hear sad news from someone? 11. What do you say when you want to change the topic? 12. What do you say when you think someone is joking with you? 13. What do you say when you don't understand someone's real meaning? 14. What do you say when you interrupt someone or cut in front of him? 15. What do you say when you apologize to someone? Lesson 4. When do you say this? Read me. Let's talk about situations in which people would use these expressions. Example. Congratulations. Answer. Anytime someone has accomplished something worthwhile in life, graduated, won an award, got a job or a promotion, gotten married, or had a baby. When do you say this? 1. Long time no see. 2. It's up to you. 3. Believe it or not. 4. What do you say? 5. You can say that again. 6. Are you pulling my leg? 7. If you were in my shoes. 8. To make a long story short. 9. Watch out. 10. Be realistic. 11. It all depends. 12. I didn't mean that. 13. You're the boss. 14. Are you serious? 15. Let's make up. 16. Don't get me wrong. 17. It's a deal. 18. TGIF. 19. Serves you right. 20. This is the life.
Part 2, Everyday Questions. Lesson 5. Do you like questions? Example. Do you like to watch TV? Answer. I used to watch a lot of television. I could do that while I was doing something else like studying or painting. But these days I hardly ever turn the TV on. I find it much more enjoyable to go out or read a book or listen to good music. I guess I'm bored with watching TV. Answer these questions. 1. Do you like to read? 2. Do you like to travel? 3. Do you like to sing? 4. Do you like to eat? 5. Do you like to eat out? 6. Do you like to exercise? 7. Do you like to swim? 8. Do you like to play cards? 9. Do you like to play any musical instrument? 10. Do you like to gamble? 11. Do you like to watch movies? 12. Do you like to play with children? 13. Do you like to sleep late in the morning? 14. Do you like to go to the mountains? 15. Do you like to meet new people? 16. Do you like smoking? 17. Do you like drinking? 18. Do you like playing golf? 19. Do you like playing tennis? 20. Do you like bowling? 21. Do you like writing letters? 22. Do you like shopping? 23. Do you like talking? 24. Do you like helping those in need? 25. Do you like riding in a car? 26. Do you like meat? 27. Do you like vegetables? 28. Do you like raw fish? 29. Do you like Western food? 30. Do you like kimchi? 31. Do you like music? 32. Do you like traditional music? 33. Do you like classical music? 34. Do you like money? 35. Do you like your current job? Lesson 6. Do you think you are? Questions. Example. Do you think you are conscientious? Answer. Why don't you ask someone else? Obviously, I'm prejudiced about my own character, but I will say that I always try to do my best. I don't think I ever deliberately slack off on a project. 
Sometimes I know I failed to do something perfectly, but that is because I don't have enough time or I don't clearly understand the task. But under the circumstances, I could not have done the job better than I did. Answer these questions. 1. Do you think you are healthy? 2. Do you think you are kind? 3. Do you think you are happy? 4. Do you think you are honest? 5. Do you think you are imaginative? 6. Do you think you are diligent? 7. Do you think you are successful? 8. Do you think you are fashionable? 9. Do you think you are humorous? 10. Do you think you are open-minded? 11. Do you think you are sympathetic? 12. Do you think you are shy? 13. Do you think you are religious? 14. Do you think you are superstitious? 15. Do you think you are adventurous? 16. Do you think you are hasty? 17. Do you think you are punctual? 18. Do you think you are frugal? 19. Do you think you are patient? 20. Do you think you are forgetful? 21. Do you think you are talkative? 22. Do you think you are rich? 23. Do you think you are optimistic? 24. Do you think you are law-abiding? 25. Do you think you are good-looking? Lesson 7. What questions? Example. What do you think is the best way to stay healthy? Answer. There are many ways to remain healthy. Different people pursue many of them. They may take large amounts of vitamins or tonics. Some blindly believe in some diet or other, which may be commercially appealing but not medically tested. Nonetheless, good health starts with weight control. This is achieved either through eating moderately or exercising regularly, or both. Answer these questions. 1. What do you usually have for breakfast? 2. What do you usually have for lunch? 3. What is your favorite snack? 4. What do you want to be in the future? 5. What do you want your kids to be in the future? 6. What do you think about giving up on English? 7. What do you do to improve your English? 8. What do you think are the advantages of having a good command of English? 9. What made your parents get married? 10. What do you think about prenuptial agreements? 11. What makes you feel happy? 12. What makes you feel sad? 13. What do you do to make your parents happy? 
14. What do you do to make your friends happy? 15. What do you usually do if you have a cold? 16. What can you do to help the poor? 17. What do you think about women smoking and drinking? 18. What do you think about buying lottery tickets? 19. What is the best movie you've ever seen? 20. What is your favorite season? 21. What is your favorite food? 22. What are you going to be doing at 10 p.m. tomorrow? 23. What is the most important thing for you to do this year? 24. What do you think is the most important thing in life? 25. What are your future plans? Lesson 8 Who Questions? Example Who do you admire the most? Answer My parents. They sacrificed everything for me. They gave up their personal dreams and financial well being. They dropped out of school because they were too poor to get through, but they always emphasized the importance of a college education to me and my brothers and sisters. As a result, we enjoy a higher living standard than our parents, thanks to their efforts. Nothing is stronger than parental determination to raise their children well. Answer these questions 1. Who wakes you up in the morning? 2. Who cooks in your home? 3. Who does the dishes at home? 4. Who takes care of your children? 5. Who takes care of your parents? 6. Who makes the most money in your household? 7. Who makes the major decisions in your family? 8. Who is in charge of finances in your family? 9. Who decides which channel to watch on TV? 10. Who is your favorite movie star? 11. Who do you think is the happiest person in your family? 12. Who do you think is the busiest person in your family? 13. Who do you think is the richest person in the world? 14. Who do you think is the most important person in the world? 15. Who do you think is the most influential person in the world? 16. Who do you think is the most honest person? 17. Who do you think is the most miserable person? 18. Who do you think tells lies most often? 19. Who has the best job in the world? 20. Who gives you the best advice? Lesson 9 Where Questions Example Where do you usually shop? Answer I usually shop in discount stores. I'm willing to pay the membership fees, 
because I think I can save more over time due to the reduced prices. However, I must be careful not to be tempted by cheap prices into buying things unless I have an immediate need for them. Otherwise, it's just wasting money. Answer these questions. 1. Where do you live now? Why? 2. Where were you born? Describe what your hometown looks like. 3. Where do you usually go on Sundays? 4. Where did you meet your current sweetheart for the first time? 5. Where do you usually meet your sweetheart? 6. Where do you want to go on your honeymoon? Why? 7. Where did you go on your last vacation? What did you do? 8. Where are you planning to go for your next summer vacation? Why? 9. Where do you want to live after you retire? Why? 10. Where do you usually go when you are hungry? Why? 11. Where do you usually buy your clothes? Why? 12. Where do you usually buy computers or other home appliances? 13. Where are you going after this class? 14. Where do you most want to visit? 15. Where do you hope to work? Lesson 10. Why questions. Example. Why do you think people marry? Answer. People naturally dislike being alone. They also have curiosity about people of the opposite sex. Marriages arranged between families are still common. However, these days people get married for many reasons. Some marry simply because family members and friends are getting married, while others live together to save money. However, gold diggers marry for their partner's money. Many people still marry because they want children. But the majority of people marry because they are in love and want to stay with each other all the time. Answer these questions. 1. Why are you learning English? 2. Why do you think people in general are getting fatter? 3. Why do so many people want to be slim? 4. Why do you think people are hooked on computers? 5. Why do you think people watch TV instead of reading a book? 6. Why do you think some people choose to live in a crowded city? 7. Why do you think people want to make more money? 8. Why do you think people need a college degree? 9. Why do you think people generally distrust government? 10. Why do you think the number of females who smoke is increasing? How about the number of young people? 11. Why do you think juvenile delinquency is on the rise? 12. Why do you think people emigrate? 13. Why do you think people want children? 14. Why do you think some people want to be childless? 15. Why do you think most people have some religion? 16. Why do clothing fashions change so quickly? 17. 
Why do people do things which they know are bad for them? 18. Why are divorce rates climbing? 19. Why do you live where you do? 20. Why are some people more successful than others? Lesson 11. When questions. Example. When do you feel happy? Answer. I feel happy whenever my family is healthy, but I was especially happy when I had a baby. When I got a promotion, I felt happy too. But there is only one way to be happy permanently. That is, we should feel happy about who we are and remember that happiness comes from the little things we accomplish. We can never feel happy. Unless we can enjoy the things we have around us now. Answer these questions 1. When did you start learning English? 2. When do you feel like giving up on English? 3. When does your family eat out? 4. When do you read the newspaper? 5. When did you fall in love for the first time? 6. When do you feel stressed? 7. When do you feel lonely? 8. When do you think of your friends? 9. When do you think of your parents? 10. When would you like to take a round the world trip? 11. When will you get married? 12. When are you going to finish school? 13. When do you see a doctor? 14. When do you think you will win the lottery? 15. When was the last time you cried? Lesson 12 How Questions Example How do you know your parents love you? Answer We call parental love unconditional, meaning that parents give top priority to their children under all circumstances. For example, they try to provide their children with better food, a better education, better medical care, etc. Parents are always ready to sacrifice their own well being for their children's sake. We all know that their love is endless, but we don't know what real parental love is until we become parents ourselves. Parents may not talk about their love for their children, but we all know they will always love us. Answer these questions 1. How many hours do you sleep? 2. How can you persuade your children to study hard? 3. How can you persuade your parents that academic success isn't everything? 4. How much pocket money do you spend per month? 5. How did you get your first job? 6. How many hours do you study English every day? 7. How many snacks do you eat a day? 8. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? 9. How do you divvy up domestic chores at your house? 
Ten. How could you get a good deal if you were buying a car? Eleven. How did you learn how to do something difficult? Twelve. How did you feel when you first met your current sweetheart? Thirteen. How do you go to school or work? Fourteen. How does one win in athletics in life? Fifteen. How much money is enough? Lesson thirteen. How often? Questions. Example. How often do you visit your parents? Answer. I know that as my parents get older, they want to see me more often. I can read their minds when I look into their eyes. I want to visit them as often as possible too, but my work keeps me busy, and I have to think about my parents-in-law as well. They also want to see their own child frequently, so I have a dilemma. If my spouse and I alternate visits between both families, I can see my own parents just once a month at best. So I try to visit them by myself whenever I can make the time, and when I'm too busy to see them. I call them often to say hello. Answer these questions. One. How often do you brush your teeth? Two. How often do you take a bath? Three. How often do you get your hair cut? Four. How often do you stay up all night? Five. How often do you take a nap? Six. How often do you dream? Seven. How often do you exercise? Eight. How often do you lie? Nine. How often do you get to relax? Ten. How often do you think about your first love? Eleven. How often do you help with the chores around the house? Twelve. How often do you call your sweetheart? Thirteen. How often do you tell your sweetheart I love you? Fourteen. How often do people tell you I love you? Fifteen. How often do you see a movie? Sixteen. How often do you see your friends? Seventeen. How often do you give money to your parents? Eighteen. How often should someone see a dentist? Nineteen. How often do you go shopping? Twenty. How often do you travel abroad? Lesson fourteen: How-to statements. Example. Explain how to achieve your dreams. Answer. First of all, I must believe in myself and ignore those who try to discourage me. I must stop procrastinating and keep on trying. I know I will not fail if I try again and again until I succeed. That's the only way anyone can have dreams come true. Tell me how to do the following. One. Explain how to drive safely. Two. Explain how to stop drinking and smoking. 
Three. Explain how to find Mr. or Miss Wright. Four. Explain how to make your spouse happy. Five. Explain how to make your children happy. Six. Explain how to stay healthy. Seven. Explain how to improve your English. Eight. Explain how to use a vending machine. Nine. Explain how to avoid letting a friendship sour. Ten. Explain how to make up with an estranged friend. Eleven. Explain how to avoid getting ripped off when you buy goods. Twelve. Explain how to avoid becoming a henpecked husband. Thirteen. Explain how to get from your home to here. Fourteen. Explain how to make someone smile at you. Fifteen. Explain how to win at some video game. Sixteen. Explain how to get better grades. Seventeen. Explain how to get rich. Eighteen. Explain how to avoid a mugger or rapist. Nineteen. Explain how to avoid getting too busy in life. Twenty. Explain how to achieve world peace. Lesson fifteen. Have you ever questions? <music> Example. Have you ever donated money or time to a charity? Answer. I go through cycles. Sometimes I try to donate money to every worthy cause I come across, and then I think that my little contributions are too small to make any difference. So I become more selective and give more money to just a few charities, and then I worry that they are not genuinely interested in solving a problem, but only in making money for themselves. So then I stop giving altogether. But then I feel guilty and start making indiscriminate donations all over again. Answer these questions and explain your answers. One. Have you ever eaten dog meat? Two. Have you ever run in a marathon? Three. Have you ever gone on a blind date? Four. Have you ever bought a lottery ticket? Five. Have you ever donated your blood? Six. Have you ever gotten locked in an elevator? Seven. Have you ever said farewell to a loved one? Eight. Have you ever tried to stop some bad habit? Nine. Have you ever had a major operation? Ten. Have you ever gone abroad on vacation? Eleven. Have you ever cheated on a test? Twelve. Have you ever done something you regretted later? Thirteen. Have you ever fallen in love with someone who was not interested in you? Fourteen. Have you ever won any money or anything else in a lottery? Fifteen. Have you ever drunk too much? Sixteen. Have you ever done something you were very proud of? Seventeen. Have you ever lost your temper? Eighteen. Have you ever done something brave or heroic? Nineteen. Have you ever criticized your best friend? Twenty. 
Have you ever given someone a surprise party? Lesson 16. I wonder if questions. Example. I wonder if you're interested in using an English English dictionary. Answer. Many kinds of dictionaries exist with different purposes. For instance, a special kind of dictionary, called a thesaurus, provides synonyms of words but no definitions. Or we may need a French English dictionary if we live in Paris but want to learn English better. Or an English French dictionary if we live in London and want to learn French. But these bilingual dictionaries usually have rather small vocabularies and tend to be pretty simple. So, As an advanced student of English, even though it is not my native language, I prefer an English English dictionary. They have more words and fuller explanations, so my proficiency in the language improves. Answer these questions 1. I wonder if you are free this weekend. 2. I wonder if you're good at fixing computers. 3. I wonder if you're interested in celebrities' private lives. 4. I wonder if you want to help others even though you're not rich. 5. I wonder if you are sociable. 6. I wonder if you have any prejudice against foreigners. 7. I wonder if you have regular medical checkups. 8. I wonder if you're willing to be a house husband. 9. I wonder if you have a plan to change your current job soon. 10. I wonder if you believe in reincarnation. Part 3. Let's practice making questions. Lesson 17. Make a question starting with what? Read me. Students are accustomed to answering the teacher's questions in the classroom. That's why they have difficulty communicating with each other in real situations, since talking requires participants to both ask and reply. These sections are designed to train students to make proper questions in a variety of cases. Example I want to be a doctor. Question. What do you want to be in the future? What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to do someday? For the following answers, make at least one question starting with what? 1. I slept all day yesterday. 2. I like bulgogi. 3. I'm going to see a movie tonight. 4. I teach English in middle school. 5. Watermelon is the best fruit to enjoy in summer. 6. I feel relaxed when I listen to music. 7. He goes to church every Sunday. 8. Math is the most difficult subject for me. 9.
I think using an English English dictionary is a good way to study. 10. I study chemistry in college. 11. Yesterday I went to see a movie with my girlfriend. 12. I must get a job after high school. 13. I have to study hard if I'm going to succeed. 14. After college, I want to be a reporter. 15. I want to have spaghetti for lunch. 16. I have a date tonight with a new boyfriend. 17. She wants to be a movie star. 18. They always told me to be patient. 19. I spent all day in the Louvre when I was in Paris. 20. I think I ate too much ice cream last night. Lesson 18. Make a question starting with when. Example I got my first job six months after I graduated from college. Questions When did you get your first job? When did you start working? For the following answers, make at least one question starting with when. 1. I always get up at 6. 2. I'm planning to take a round the world trip in five years. 3. He will be back in two hours. 4. The Korean War broke out in 1950. 5. My school starts at 9. 6. I want to retire as soon as possible, maybe at 50. 7. I feel happy when I play with my children. 8. I usually go to bed at midnight. 9. I quit smoking two years ago. 10. I was born in 1988. 11. Her favorite show is on Tuesday at 9. 12. He met his wife five years ago. 13. Their first child was born two years after they got married. 14. I think I should get a promotion in two years. 15. Soon after getting off the subway, she realized she'd left her bag behind. Lesson 19. Make a question starting with how. Example I usually invite my friends home, and mom prepares food and a special cake for us, and my friends always give me books or movie tickets as presents. Questions How do you usually celebrate your birthday? For the following answers, make at least one question starting with how. 1. I've been living here in Korea for two years. 2. I've been studying English since middle school. 3. I brush my teeth three times a day. 4. I call my parents once a week. 5. My trip was great. 
I visited my grandparents in Busan and enjoyed walking on Daejeongde Beach. 6. I have two close friends. 7. We rented a condo for the weekend and spent all day on the slopes. 8. It is a used car, so my friend gave it to me. 9. It takes two hours by car from here to Daejeon. 10. I usually read two books a month. 11. I was supposed to meet a friend at a coffee shop, but it was very crowded, so the waitress had me sit at a table with a girl. That's how I met my wife. 12. I practice at least three hours a day. 13. It was a real bargain. I got them for only 20 bucks a piece. 14. My friends who smoked looked cool to me and they recommended it to me. 15. I feel much better. Lesson 20. Make a question starting with where. Example. I'm planning to go to Mount Sorak this summer. Questions. Where are you going to go on your vacation? Where do you want to go this summer? Where would you like to vacation? For the following answers, make at least one question starting with where. 1. I'm from Seoul. 2. I live in Jungno. 3. I usually meet my friends in a downtown bookstore. 4. I'm going to go to the East Beach this summer. 5. I was in Busan yesterday. 6. You can buy clothes cheaply at Dongdaemun. 7. I bought it in a duty-free shop. 8. We can meet in some Gangnam coffee shop. 9. My parents live on Jeju Island. 10. I first met my girlfriend at a movie theater. 11. I lived in Paris for five years, but I was too young, so I don't remember much about it. 12. My father was born in Chicago, but he grew up in Moscow. 13. I left my purse on the bus. 14. They saw each other for the first time in Seoul after corresponding for three years. 15. I went salsa dancing at a club last night. The place was packed, but it sure was fun. Lesson 21. Make a question starting with why. Example. English is necessary for my job. Questions. Why are you learning English? Why is English important? For the following answers, make at least one question starting with why. 1. I love the beautiful scenery in the country. Clean air makes me feel refreshed. That's why I live here. 2. My wife and I usually sleep late in the morning, so we have no time for breakfast. But we don't care if we skip it. Two meals are enough for us. 3. 
I don't think marriage is a must for everybody. I feel very comfortable living alone. 4. I made a fortune in stocks, so I can afford to enjoy my life without having to work. Early retirement has always been my dream. 5. The stock market is too dangerous for me, so I save all my money in the bank. 6. I think the increasing crime rate is due to poor discipline at home. 7. I stopped smoking for six months, but my current workload is keeping me so stressed out that I started smoking again. 8. Oh no, I just want to relax at home. There is no cure for a cold anyway. 9. Running is the best exercise. It is cheap and we can do it anywhere. 10. We are late. Don't worry, even at this speed you are perfectly safe in my car. 11. I can shop around the clock while never leaving home, and I don't have to worry about being ripped off. 12. I'm not a good cook, and besides, I enjoy the variety of foods local restaurants provide. 13. They paid so much attention to the oldest son that they neglected their daughter. 14. I guess I just didn't study hard enough. 15. Because he was the handsomest man I ever met. Lesson 22. Ask him. Example. Ask him why he lives in the big city. Questions. Why do you live in the big city? Ask him. 1. Ask him if it is a good idea to try to memorize the dictionary. 2. Ask him if he can ride a motorcycle. 3. Ask him if he remembers the day he first met his wife. 4. Ask him if he is tired. 5. Ask him what he thinks about Thai food. 6. Ask him what his major was. 7. Ask him why he came to Korea. 8. Ask him what brand of golf clubs he uses. 9. Ask him how the party was last night. 10. Ask him if he can go along with you to the department store. 11. Ask him what kind of music he likes. 12. Ask him what he thinks about buying life insurance. 13. Ask him if he wants to buy a new car. 14. Ask him what the best way is of avoiding stress. 15. Ask him if he knows the best way to stay healthy. 16. Ask him if he can afford to lend you some money. 17. Ask him if he can have dinner with you tonight. 18. Ask him if he reads a newspaper every day. 19. Ask him if he gives money to a beggar whenever he sees one. 20. Ask him what he does when he is tired. 21. Ask him which he likes better, playing cards or just talking. 22. Ask him how he got injured. 23. Ask him if he is sure he will get a pay raise next year. 
24. Ask him if he has any ideas to better educate our children. 25. Ask him what he thinks is the best way to curb the rising divorce rate. 26. Ask him if he ever believes what a fortune teller says. 27. Ask him how many days of paid vacation he gets a year. 28. Ask him if he ever tried to quit smoking or drinking. 29. Ask him why it is important to learn how to cook. 30. Ask him if he is afraid of secondhand smoke. Lesson 23 Making Topical Questions. Example Health. Questions How do you manage your health? How often do you exercise? How often do you get a checkup? What do you think is the best way to stay healthy? How much of a problem do you think stress is in terms of our overall health? Make as many questions as you can on the following topics 1. Friends. 2. Family. 3. Money. 4. English. 5. Job. 6. Weekend. 7. Vacation. 8. Smoking and drinking. 9. TV. 10. Shopping. 11. Hobbies. 12. Education. 13. Cars. 14. Future plans. 15. Marriage. 16. Exercise. 17. House husband. 18. Stocks. 19. Retirement. 20. The environment. Part 4. What do you think? Lesson 24. What's happening? Answer these questions. Picture number one. Questions. One. Do you carry a fan in summer? Two. Do you use an electric fan or an air conditioner at home? Why? Three. Are you worried about the electric bill if you use the air conditioner very much? Picture number two. Questions. 1. What is happening? 2. What are the reasons you buy things in a local store? 3. What are the reasons you buy things in a supermarket? Picture number 3. Questions. 1. What are these people doing? 2. Do you use the subway frequently? 
Why or why not? 3. What do you do when you are on the subway? Picture number 4. Questions 1. What is happening? 2. Which season do you vacation in? Where do you want to take your next vacation? 3. How much do you spend on average during your vacation? What is the cheapest way to enjoy a vacation? Picture number 5. Questions 1. What is happening? 2. Do you regularly buy lottery tickets? 3. Have you ever hit the numbers? If so, how much did you win? Altogether, how much did you spend in order to win that amount? Picture number 6. Questions 1. If you were stranded on an island where nobody lives, what would you do first? 2. If there were no hope of going back home, what would you do? 3. Write a letter to your family from the island. Lesson 25. What's wrong? Answer these questions. Picture number one. Questions. One. What is he doing wrong? Two. Do you smoke? Do you ever think of how it affects non-smokers? 3. Smokers say they are patriotic, since they pay extra taxes to buy cigarettes. Do you agree? Explain your answer. Picture number 2. Questions. 1. What is he doing wrong? 2. Have you ever driven drunk or ridden with a drunk driver? How did you feel? 3. What do you think is the proper punishment for drunk drivers? Picture number 3. Questions. 1. What are they doing wrong? 2. Do you sometimes argue with your spouse or parents? About what? How do you make up later? 3. Why is it wrong to argue with other people, especially with kids around? Picture number 4. Questions. 1. What are they doing wrong? 2. Why is it dangerous? 3. What would you do if you saw them on the road? Picture number 5. Questions. 1. What is he doing wrong? 2. Do you have a pet? Why or why not? 3. What are some of the responsibilities of having a pet? Picture number 6. Questions. 1. What are they doing wrong? 2. Can you swim? How well? 3. The best swimmers are the most likely to drown. Do you know why? Lesson 26. What is it? Questions. Example. What is a superstition? Do you have any superstitious beliefs? If so, what are they? Answer. Superstition is an irrational belief in magic, but it is difficult to be objective about this. My magical beliefs are not superstitions, only yours. Superstitious phenomena include, for some people, fortune-telling, 
astrology, having lucky or unlucky numbers, prophecy, reincarnation, an afterlife, and divine intervention. But even people who reject all religious and secular superstitious ideas may still believe in things that do not seem to have an objective reality, like love or free will or some political dogma. The long and short of it is that while we don't know everything, we would like to believe that life is not a complete mystery either, and that some things are both more predictable and more controllable than they actually are. Answer these questions. 1. What is a diary? Do you keep one? What do you write about? 2. What is a stamp? Can you guess what the most expensive rare stamp is worth? 3. What is a weather forecast? How often is it right? What are some reasons for it being wrong sometimes? 4. What is a conscience? Have you ever felt any pang of conscience? What did you do? 5. What is the Internet? How many hours do you spend on the Internet a day? 6. What is insurance? Do you have life insurance? Why or why not? 7. What is an extraterrestrial? E.T. Do you believe people who claim to have met any ETs? 8. What is a credit card? How many credit cards do you have? 9. What is a newspaper? Do you subscribe to one or read it online? 10. What is a theme park? What are some popular ones? 11. What is an autobiography? Will you ever write one? 12. What is a first aid kit? What would some of its contents be? 13. What is a garage sale? Have you ever gone to one or had one? 14. What is a vending machine? What do you buy most often from one? 15. What is a panacea? Would you ever want to buy one? 16. What is a lie detector? Explain how it functions. Is it always accurate? 17. What is a lottery? Can winning ever have negative consequences? 18. What is jet lag? What are some symptoms? 19. What is a time machine? What would you like to see in the past or future? 20. What is the death penalty? Do you approve of it? Why or why not? Lesson 27. Qualifications. Example. Accountant. Answer. First of all, an accountant must love numbers and be accurate with them. He must be honest. If he is not, he could easily commit criminal acts by manipulating the figures at his disposal. But the most important qualification for an accountant is that he is able to keep information confidential and not leak any job-related financial knowledge to unauthorized people. Financial damage affects society as much as it does the individual. Talk about the job qualifications for the following positions. 1. Teacher 2. Explorer 3. Fisher 4. Comedian 5. Hacker 6. Judge 7. 
professional athlete. 8. Journalist. 9. Farmer. 10. Sniper. 11. Inventor. 12. Novelist. 13. Scientist. 14. Business person. 15. Minor. Lesson 28. Duty. Example. Police officer. Answer. Everybody knows that a police officer is supposed to protect people and property. He tries to bring justice to people's lives by solving crimes. But I'm sure prevention is even more important than crime solving, since it's usually too late to make up the damage after it's done. Talk about the job responsibilities of the following positions. 1. Lifeguard. 2. Soldier. 3. Bodyguard. 4. Firefighter. 5. Stunt performer. 6. Mail carrier. 7. Movie director. 8. Weather forecaster. 9. Secretary. 10. Lawyer. 11. Prosecutor. 12. Salesperson. 13. Counselor. 14. Priest. 15. Matchmaker. Lesson 29 Stereotypes. Example Politicians. Answer Some people describe politicians with this stereotype. They are liars by nature. If a man couldn't lie, he wouldn't have a future in politics. Furthermore, politicians are good at justifying their lies, and they always seem ready to make up another one. Power hungry liars surely have difficulty understanding other people's real needs and problems. We shouldn't believe anything they say. Tell us your general impression of the following people as a class of people rather than as an individual. 1. Doctor. 2. Police officer. Three. Smoker. Four. Drunk driver. Five. Tycoon. Six. Nude model. Seven. Person with a PhD. Eight. Mortician. 9. Garbage collector. 10. Ex con. 11. Movie star. 12. Fortune teller. 13. Playboy. 
14. Stay at home mom. 15. AIDS patient. Lesson 30. Yes or no? Example Do you want to be rich? Answer Of course I want to be rich. The hard part is trying to figure out how. I don't want to do anything dishonest, and I don't have any particular talent as a singer, actor, athlete, or novelist. It would be nice to get rich by inventing some useful item everyone needs or curing a disease, but it's not likely that I'll do anything like that. And I don't have any rich relatives that I can inherit any wealth from either. So if I'm going to be rich, I guess I had better marry a wealthy person or win a big lottery. Answer these questions yes or no, and tell why. 1. Do you want to be more beautiful? 2. Do you want to live longer? 3. Do you want to have a beautiful spouse? 4. Do you want to live frugally rather than luxuriously? 5. Is living in the city better than living in the country? 6. Do you want to remain single? 7. Do you want to have more than two children? 8. Do you always apologize when you make a mistake? 9. Do you want to be famous? 10. Do you want to have a college diploma? 11. Can money buy happiness? 12. Is money better than fame? 13. Do you want to live abroad? 14. Can you live without the internet? 15. Do you want to be fluent in more than one language? This is the end of Talk 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 1. 